Hello and welcome back to the Murray Coast on what is set to be potentially one of the most dramatic nights of photography I have had in a long time. But despite that, we have had hail showers on and off all day today. We've had these beautiful stormy clouds in the sky, so much drama, so much atmosphere. And tonight, I'm there at the coast and I'm trying to utilise these beautiful stormy clouds, the dramatic sunlight pouring through the sky. And upon arriving here, it kicked off straight away. As soon as I got here, the sun poured out from the clouds and illuminated the beach before me with a crashing wave surging into shore. And I think it's only gonna get better. I'm super excited for tonight. Dramatic, exciting spring photography at the coast. What more could I want? Seriously, it's so beautiful. And it's only just begun. is absolutely amazing it's just so incredible it's been a long time I think I think it's definitely been a long time since I've last photographed light as exciting as this I think the last time was October at this very location when I was out with Pamela Marshall and we had quite quite a similar evening I wouldn't say it was quite as dramatic as this though this is amazing it's so cool but it's so windy that every time I want to speak to you I've got to come and hide in the grasses to try and shelter from it all but yeah, we're getting into golden hour now, so the light's starting to get a bit more yellowy. And uh, there's a lot of haze on the horizon though, in certain places where the, the hail showers are, are descending on the other side of the, of the firth. But it's so beautiful. Or what I'm trying to do tonight really is trying to concentrate on some of the more iconic sides of Fintorn. Not something I do that often, I'm trying to move away from iconic shots these days, but it's a shot that I've been dreaming of for years and I've got a few images of it but I want to get something a little bit different and tonight I'm the only photographer down here so far anyway so I want to potentially be the only photographer that photographs this tonight and that's just a little tip there for you you know if you want to shoot those iconic locations do it you know it's your photography your artwork but try and do it on evenings or mornings like when the weather's like this where it's different where it's stormy and where it's changeable because that's where the uniqueness comes in loads of people will shoot the the wooden groin things that I'm shooting tonight but not everybody will be able to shoot it in light like this so that's what I'm trying to utilise and enjoy and my goodness it's so beautiful
Annoyingly, a hail shower has come and completely obscured the horizon. So the sunset now is completely behind this massive bank of cloud, which is a little bit frustrating because I was really hoping and uh, expecting us to have an amazing sunset tonight. There's still about 20 minutes until sunset, so there's hope that this strong wind will move that cloud out the way and I'll still get some really interesting golden images. But while I'm waiting, I've come round to the other side of the bay to have a look at this side, where we've got some really interesting clouds. Unfortunately, there's not much here in terms of good foreground because with it being so windy, the water is just, it's that really horrible, annoying texture, but it's not, dramatic and wavy because we're in a bay um, or it's not you know obviously calm enough tonight to get that lovely reflection shots and I was considering a long exposure but there are so many boats in this bay and they're just moving constantly so I would end up with an image with a nice long exposure of the water and these blurred sailing boats which I just don't think would have looked very nice but I'm, um, I just think it's nice just to actually admire these beautiful clouds and attempt to get a photograph because it's it's actually really good here because you've got the two sides of the bay literally just over from each other so you've got the two opportunities here of keeping an eye on what's happening happening on the actual beach what's happening on the bay and um, so if the light does start to kick off again it'll literally take me two minutes to get back over there but yeah i'm going to see if i can try and catch this cloud but as i say i'm not very hopeful at all because it's just yeah it's just there's not nothing good to direct the eye today at this side just for the conditions being the way they are but uh, yeah I mean if tonight ha is ending shortly because of the abrupt end to the sunset I'm not going to be disappointed because those shots I got before golden hour I'm so happy with them the light was so dramatic and uh, I mean the night's not over yet but it's always good when you get to a location to get some images in the bag straight away um, it just makes you feel more relaxed for the rest of the evening so yeah, let's see what I can do with these clouds and then we'll head back to the beach for, for actual sunset. that bank of cloud does not look like it's budging which is a real shame uh, I think I'm gonna stay for another 10 minutes or so just in case but I wanted to end this video if this is the end on this note and I often find people arrive to shoot sunsets within like half an hour of the sunset and then many people will leave as soon as the sun has set but one thing I've realized over the years and this is just my own personal experience of course you can get good images all day round but one thing I have found, especially in this part of Scotland, is that the best light usually happens if you're shooting for sunrise an hour before sunrise and up to two hours afterwards and for sunset, it's up to two hours before sunset and an hour afterwards Now tonight, if I had arrived half an hour before sunset, I would have missed that light That light happened an hour and a half before sunset So half an hour before golden hour even But because I was here, I was able to capture it and that's just a little tip there for you. If you have the time to dedicate to landscape photography, ensure that when you go on location that you don't just come out for the actual sunrise, the actual sunset. Because often the best light will happen before it or after it and not always during it. And uh, tonight's kind of proved that in many ways. That light an hour and a half before sunset was incredible. And if I'd come out just now, I would have been really disappointed and upset about the fact that there's this massive blanket of cloud on the horizon but because I was here early and captured that amazing breaking through light that we had um, quite a while ago now we had earlier it doesn't really matter because I've captured it so uh, yeah just a tip there for you you know don't always come out and rush your shoots and don't always come out just for sunrise or sunset make sure you have time around the, them and because that, sometimes that's where the best light is and as I say tonight has proved that. If this is the end of the video, which I think it is, uh, I don't, it doesn't look like things are going to kick off again. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you for watching as always and uh, I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.